Hello, everyone. Today I will have Tobias Sprung and Camille Jablonski. These two great left-hand pullers will be trying to beat each other to make their way to the title for the future. Fasting is okay. I think how long we have? I have one and a half hour left. Yep, it will be a great match. Hello, hello, hello to Hungary. Hello, Daniel. Hello, Eromania. Hello, Lagia. We miss you. We miss you, my friend. Unstoppable Armasting, hello Melaze, hello my friends. Good to see you. Good to see all of you. And soon my guests will come. Michael Workspace, hello, hello to Texas, my friends. Hello to Texas. They still have a few minutes to join us. So how is everything going with you guys? Yeah, I'm fine. A little bit tired, Michael, but all is good. Yeah, we will have the remaining podcast in next two weeks, hopefully. Berserker, hello Engin. Do you always have backup matches planned in case any match get can? No, I just whenever I hear, and then in quickly, I set in my mind. But then I need to ask the guys, and then I ask them. I don't know. There is no event in June at East versus West. I I don't know when Arsene will be available. Hello, Killzone. Hello. Hello to Azerbaijan, Revan. Can't wait for East vs. West 12. This is a national holiday for our master. Yes, it's going to be a great event. It's going to be a great event. Yeah. Hola, Luis. Hola, my friends. Where are you from? Brazil or? Ian, I don't know. We will see, my friends. We'll see if Sporon will crush Camille or Camille will crush him. Time will show. Today, 27 days. Ak Stojkovic, I was hoping he's uh, going to pull at the King of Table in June, Carolina. That match will most likely will happen in July in Istanbul. Have you announced who is the commentator announcers for this event yet? Um, Travis is coming. Raimonds will be here, and Neil Pickup will be here as well. Is this your favorite event so far, Engin? I mean, all of them are great. All of them are great. The the my judgment an event like how great it is is usually after the event happens. You know, I just watch it, 
and then it's totally up to the matches, you know, how hard they are. But from outside looking, it looks like this may be the best, but who knows, you know. Biker managed greetings from Poland, and greetings to Poland, my friends. Hello, Omar Farouk. Love to Pakistan. Um, will you give your prediction about Dennis versus Hermes? I talk about that one, but I don't want to talk about the same thing every podcast. Yan Kulovak. Hello, hello, my friends. Yes, Hermes and Alijan on Tuesday. Yeah, this is what they agreed. Like, yeah. Any plans for your next match? No, I need to get informed first and then, then I will I will do it. Angie Todorik. Who do you think will win between Prime Evgeny and Morozo? I think if Morozo in shape, I think Morozo probably, but who knows? Yeah. What do I think about Levan? Levan is the strongest arm master I've ever lived, in my opinion. Eliso, Georgi has very big, strong athletes to world records in Olympic lifting, yes. Oh, if Alan Zolev can get out of Russia, yes. But if not, then how can I say that much? Hello, Kamil. Hello. Good to see you, my friend. You hear me? You hear me? Yes, I can hear now. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Now I hear you. Yeah. Yeah. I just, I just uh, first time using the Zoom on my phone, and I have to install the microphone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's good. That's good. I think very oh. soon, Tobias needs to be joining very soon as well. Okay. How are you, Angin? Good. Good. And you? 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 Can you? You? You using in the sideway, right? Yeah, yeah, sure, I can. I just yeah, just, just to make sure that you know that there will be, uh, it will be fuller on the screen. We are three only. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. And so, how is everything? You are training without opponent lately, and now this is happening. And how do you feel? You said you were training pronator, but now you are switching to inside again. You said what yeah. did you tell me? You said ninety percent right now. You're inside the pressure, the, the shoulder pressure. No, uh, to be honest, uh, I training the side pressure and the press like last five years. So I am mm -hmm. all the time pretty good. But um, that's what I mentioned to you about ninety percent. That's how mm -hmm. I checked, and it's going pretty well. So probably. Yeah. Even if I will do 100%, probably I can do it right now. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So, you know, usually after a super match, I have in January. So if you're giving rest, that's what i done. It's it's the best mm -hmm. way to recover and come back to the, to the best shape quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, hello, Tobias. Tobias, no, I know. How, how is it to pronounce your name? Like Tobias or? Tobias. Tobias? Yes, yes, that's the okay, right because way. Because some people say something different. They call Tobias. Tobias, yeah, they say Tobias. Yeah. It's not right. It's not right. No, no, it's no, not. No. Okay. But I mean, it's fine. It's fine either way. It's fine, but just I just didn't yeah. know which one. I would like yeah. to say the correct one if I can, yeah. of course. Yeah, it's Todd Tobias. And, yeah, Tobias. Yeah, Todd and Oleg's love child, the greatest promoter with the greatest pronator. He says thank you very much. Uh, it is your kindness. Yeah, we were talking about Camille. Camille said that last five years he has been doing all the press, side press, yeah. and then lately he started to do pronation. And, yeah, and then now when this match happened, 
uh, probably he thinks that it is not super good idea to try to topple such a hand that like you have, and probably and that, that he started again the pressure and he said he is ninety percent, but he said that this was the first try. He he feels like any any moment. I don't think that it would go anywhere. Just you didn't recently uh, train last five years when you train press 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 and then just say one month you train pronator. The press is not going anywhere for sure. You know, even if yeah. it goes a little bit, it's gonna come back in two weeks. You know, I, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Tobias, you kind of surprised me. I don't know if you surprised other people as well, but I, I was very surprised with your performance against Wagner. Not because yeah. you won uh, easily, but I was surprised the way that you arm wrestle. You know, yeah, we yeah. we we the to Tobias that we know is just you know going this way, and then we saw like first round you just went straight through you know sideways, and now your opponent is. How do you compare Wagner and Kamil? Wagner is more like if he can, he, he likes to go that way, while. Uh, Kamil is, you know, he can also sacrifice his wrist and go. I mean, he can use his wrist as well, but he can also do without uh, wrist. So, how do you see these two athletes? What is the difference? What do you expect? The difference right now at this moment, I think, is that Kamil is probably stronger than Wagner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I mean, it's it's the same style, maybe a little bit different, but. Yeah, he is. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's stronger than Wagner. He may he be also quicker. Uh, yes, yes, probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, how do you see your chances in this match? You gonna That's win? always. Uh, <laughs> I will try. I I think I can win for sure because. Uh, my development, uh, like this last year, with more side pressure and overall strength, but you mm -hmm. you never know, as you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so you decided to go more sideway after Vitali match. <clears throat> no, no, not really. I think it was because of Wagner's style with with the press. So I tried to get him out of his the strong position directly after the go. Uh, mm. It's very different to face a hook uh, puller uh, compared to face a, a presser. So I feel comfortable facing pressers, but the, the question is very strong. So that's the, the big question. Yeah, the question is. Like, did you need it to pull against Wagner to improve your side pressure? Uh, what do you mean? I mean, like, why haven't you trained? Like, did you really need it to pull someone like Wagner to oh, okay. make make your side pressure stronger? Like, didn't you? No, no, no. I've always so... trained my side pressure, but getting strong at this level, it takes time. And I feel like I reach the next level of strength uh, like last year after Vitali, I trained hard mm. for for a very long time so I reached mm. the next level and very very surprised before I asked to Camille very surprised uh, after like meeting Vitali, did you think that like do you, you were expecting this much strong Lalesin, were you surprised by his power? Or... Yeah, yeah, very surprised. And I, I don't really think people understand his his level. I think uh -huh. we need more to see more of his left hand. I hope he, he will. Soon. Get, get, yeah, I hope so. Soon he and Levan, you know, Levan is also planning to make a comeback. Yeah, that's uh, amazing. With left hand. Yeah, yeah, it will be. So then we will realize, you know. Uh, yeah. And, and Kamil, were you surprised uh, Tobias' uh, performance against uh, Wagner? Yeah. Or you were, the, you were expecting? Uh, I, I think I was expecting because um, I think Tobias is really on the top. He's not like 
uh, top 10 or something. He, when I watched his fight with Vitali, this this wasn't that big different between them. He giving nice mm. stops uh, on the on the losing position. I think Tobias is so strong, and mm -hmm. uh, but when he pulled Wagner, I see Wagner have nothing to him. Basically nothing. He even do a little bit false starts, and Tobias still take him back uh, through his side pressure. So. Um, I think Tobias will be very dangerous uh, for me as well. And, you know, I've got some experience already on the high level uh, stage. And I think um, this will help me a lot to set up properly with so strong guy like Tobias and just be ready uh, with the with the fight, you know, because at the moment I don't have much time to, to prepare properly. But, you know, my press is very strong, but the press is not the key. The key is the side pressure. It's if I win the side pressure, I, I'm not worried about the rest. I, I'm pretty sure I'll, I'll I'll pin him. But if I win the side pressure, if I win the center, so so this will be the game for me to to see how he will pull me with the uh, high hand or low hand because I'm not sure what he will try to do to stop my. You mean you say like high hand? You're talking about his high hand or his low hand, right? No, his high hand because for yeah uh, yeah this is what I'm saying his high hand yeah. or his low hand yeah yeah because you know if I, I if think you I hold so high you will be able to sleep if exactly, you hold so exactly, low yeah. yeah exactly if he go high he will let me go inside flop press if he go low I think I will go inside with the wrist like a hook hook side pressure so I think I've got two options for him and uh, the match will show how it go. I am not. I am not worried about each of them because I train a lot of supination and I am ready mm -hmm. to to supinate and I am ready to go flop. So you mm -hmm. know, I will see how it's go. What will be the better? But you know, the the key for me is the after ready go. Boom, boom. The first few centimeters. There, there, there is no ready go, as you know, right? Just don't move. Yeah. Go. Now, yeah. now I've got a little bit of experience mm -hmm. uh, after Ivan because first uh, first round I sleep. Then second mm -hmm. one, I was slightly too fast, so now I need to just be ready perfectly. This will be yeah, the key. It's, it's well. Same for same for every athlete. Everyone who comes to there, mm -hmm. they need to ready, go. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was checking at the power of my fingers on the on the flat piece of wood, and um, is is actually at the moment I have my uh, life record. So. Mm. I am pretty uh, happy to test that as well on Tobias. If he will want to try go top roll, uh, I want I want to see if I can block him or I can't yet because you know usually I give him the wrist just to secure the center, but mm. uh, I am not afraid to to go inside with him and try hold his hand and uh, and and see how powerful he is he is as well. So mm -hmm. it will be very interesting match for me. So you are, you are saying that if he topples you, you have this option. If he tries to hold on, you can even go inside with him. Yeah, you know, he is not that big like, uh, let's say, Cody. I have problem with Cody because his hand was bigger than mine. And I couldn't grab him properly. His mm -hmm. hand was like, boom. And it's very difficult, if, especially if he go top roll. I was losing the wrist, so I have no choice. Mm -hmm. I have to give it to him. But I have stronger center of the hand, and I was taking mm -hmm. him back to my side. So you know, I'm I'm not sure how big is uh, Tobias' hand. I was feeling one time, but I just don't focus really. I don't know if I can grab him more or just little. Uh, Tobias, do you think that over pronating against someone like Kami is bad idea? It depends on how strong that person is in in that uh, position. Yeah, but we're uh, talking about someone coming, you know, like you have any estimation, any guess to over pronate and like whenever you over pronate, then mostly your bicep is now yeah. loose and then it's all about on the brachy radialis, which is not super strong, no, you know, no. yeah. And and do you think the over pronating is an option, or you think that because of his press it is 
like you cannot avoid avoid such thing or like you don't even need to say this this is like your strategy you don't need to say but at the end you know yeah. like just because somebody knows something it doesn't mean that he can stop like whenever i invited here mindagas for a super match uh, we were sitting and eating and i said i exactly told him this is what i will do to you i will hold you and this and that and i will attack right here you know and If you stop me, you stop me. If you are strong enough, you will stop me. If you are not strong enough, you are not gonna. Yeah, stop yeah. Me. But but just because he knew, it, it didn't mean. So I beat him uh, right and left five zero five zero. So sometimes you know, you know, it, there is nothing like really super secret. You understand? Like we know what it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So what do you think about this? Um, you think your strategy will be identical to do uh, against what you did to uh, Wagner or? I don't think it will be that easy for me to win. And I, I'm not really no, no, sure the what strategy. I... The strategy will be the same. Yeah. yeah. Maybe it, it will be different, but I, to be honest, need to feel it in, in the setup where he puts the mm -hmm. pressure to me to make a decision. But I, I'm not really worried if I overpronate. I think it could be good even if I do that. But I mm -hmm. know uh, what, what you're talking about in this pos position. Yeah, uh, because I can't use my side pressure if I over pronate, so it will be mostly on biceps, and that's in general bad for me. So that's mm -hmm. why I train my side pressure so I could not over pronate, so they get into my forearm instead. Mm -hmm, but still, mm -hmm, st mm -hmm. still pronating to get control, but uh, mm -hmm. so the, but, but you the also pressure. Have pressure from this side as well. Not only from thumb side, but you have pressure here and here. Yeah. But 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 you are not gonna give up on your porn either. So basically, yeah. you are saying that you will be ready for any any case, and you will yeah. decide whenever you feel his hands. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. I mean, this is this is a match that, like, like going to the top. This is a match if you are really targeting to become number one. This is a match that. You need to win. I'm talking about both of you. Like this is like. Otherwise, you will have to wait a little bit. But if if you yeah. win, then then it means that your climbing will be going. So, yeah. So, anything you guys want to add about this technical aspect, coming or? Yeah. Uh, bas basically, um, it's a long way for me to get a match on the left arm at East vs West because. I won last qualification. It was last year, July, mm -hmm. and and uh, or May. No, I think July. July. So it's almost one year, and I will really do <laughs> my best to stay there. So you know, but, but you know, the mind... qualification qualification event was yeah, not but... guaranteed for the left arm. It was right arm yes, guaranteed. Left yes, arm would yes. be constant. Yeah, yeah. But it's it's you know, from my point of view, is like I am back because I show my mm -hmm. good self there, and. Uh, Yeah, and basically my left arm is very uh like no injury, nothing. Uh, I I stretch a little bit my fingers, but like two two months is already, and I just don't feel any more the pain. I using all the power for any exercise, so I think it's disappeared. And uh, but the main point is I have no el no elbow pain, nothing whatever in the chest or side pressure so uh, i'll be com feel comfortable you know whenever i go on table i'll be feel comfortable that i can go full power and i don't need to worry for nothing just if i get him down then i'm lucky and happy but you know can be <clears throat> can be anything you know uh, last two fights what i have uh, these guys <clears throat> if i go inside with me and they lose badly So I'm interesting as well if Tobias will try go inside one, at least one one fight to see if we can get in like kind of deep hook and and see because um that's what I training I train a lot of deep hook to to test it with the top guy and uh, we will see I I have I have a lot of options this time to be honest because like I say my left arm feel pretty good uh, I start training even top roll. But I am far, far away from from the best guys with top roll, so I I will not try to use it. But side pressure and hook, it's it's my big guns at the moment. 
about the hook is only my wrist if i can get it inside or not but i train so much so much i train the wrist at the moment and uh, mm -hmm. the right yeah. the right hand wrist is very strong the left one is slightly less but you know it's everything but about you have the... more pressure more pressure with left right yeah my left can press a lot of more because on the right i have some pains but uh even i push i pull dave chafee I, i have the pain but on the match i just forgot i go maximum power but after the match i couldn't move my hand like one week it was so painful so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah so but like i say after left arm i come back home after the the new york fights and i i after four days i feel like i can just go back training so i ha i am so happy about that you know mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah um Tobias, we saw you a little bit hook pulling with with Wagner after the after the match. Do you mean with the right arm? No, left arm with Wagner. I think. After I don't hook? think it was. Uh, I don't think it was hook. He, 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 uh, after, uh, after the match, after the match, I, I think your trainer sent me the videos. Yeah, I don't remember that it was a, a hook match. What from what I remember, it was he he tried to to press me. Yeah. In a so I got in a losing position, but maybe I I remember wrong. Hmm. Okay. I will try to. I will try to. Maybe I I miss remember. I maybe. No. I maybe now I I I remember. I think it was right at the beginning. I cupped him. And I hooked or maybe pressed him sideways. Uh -huh, I took. Uh -huh. it, I, I I attacked his pronator. One second. No, I'm I'm just checking for my own. I have just right now, front of me. Maybe I misremember. I don't know. Yeah, it 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 seemed like a little bit hooked to me, but. I think it was the cupping, and uh, yeah, but I press, 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 press with the bottom side of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, maybe shoulder pressure. Yeah, oh. at the. End, I, I, I shouldn't like show this. I shouldn't show this to Kami. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, I have to. I have to rewatch because I can see this guy who is talking. So Tobias was talking, and I couldn't see properly. But I hope it, it will be safe. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, what was it? What was it? Was it uh, tight pressure or the shoulder pressure? Tobias, that you are, you are getting the... ready. So you, what I'm just trying to, this was like a, with a cup, you know. But, yeah, yeah. Um, just say that you, you have an option of this top roll as well. It, just in case, if you top roll and stop coming, do you have the ability to bring yes. the shoulder you have that okay yes yes okay but, but from my point of view you will have to break me to do that there is no yeah, way I can do go... I can do that. No <laughs> yes, there is no way there's no way you can go through my body no way come in this guy used to be very shy guy very quiet shy guy and whenever you said that to do that you need to break me and he's like don't worry i can do that too you know <laughs> yeah looks like, I, I looks like... Yeah, go ahead. I sorry. Just, yeah, I just can't imagine if I put my shoulder behind the hand, and someone can can go through. It's just I just don't don't, you know. It it, it have to be so much power, mm -hmm. so much. First time I, I know, experience. I know by by the weight what I am doing, and in, if I can just imagine someone put that weight on his biceps, there is just no way he can hold that. No way. Sometimes, Tommy. Sometimes you topple someone. You don't end up here. But maybe if you get center here, and then you are like this, but he is here. You understand? He's he has the center, and then maybe he can come and break. So not not when you are totally yeah. over him. He's, he's on his. Uh, yeah. On, right only here. if only if I will let him. You know, I was uh, pulling uh, Kalinichenko, and he is mm -hmm. really good on the left arm, and I was giving uh, both... on the left arm. He just, he just beat Dave Chafee, and Dave Chafee is not bad as well. <laughs> Dave Chafee's left arm. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, no, no. What I'm just saying, Kalinchenko, the one that pulled with Devon Larat, right, with left arm, that Devon was holding the yes, peg, and yeah. holding the peg, and you, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But never mind. I, I, I was, I was testing my left on him, and I was giving him everything, mm -hmm. and I was able to come back just whenever I want. So, I think I am pretty, pretty good on the really side pressure. Even I am far away, I just don't know how I doing this, but I just, just coming back. I don't know how. But mm -hmm. I, you know, I, I feel comfortable with this move. So you are saying that even if you lose the center, yeah, no problem. No, no problem. I just oh, rotate okay. all my body like, and it's like like mushing. Just come back. Easy, easy win. <laughs> easy win for who, Tobias? For Camille, it seems like like that is uh, how it will go. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, no, I, I'm just joking, Tobias. Don't stress. <laughs> Okay, I see. I see two confident guys in front of me. You know, uh, after how I fight uh, Cody and the other guy, uh, I feel comfortable on that move. Mm -hmm. That's good. I want to face a strong and confident coming. Yeah, I, I feel com comfortable, and uh, you know, this is. Every super match is new experience, and you learn from every each one. And the most you learn from the losing one. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, Ivan gave me so much new experience, which I will never do this stupid mistakes again. Uh, on the what was the mistake? Match. Yeah, I done a lot of mistakes with him. Just can you share with us? Yeah, sure, I can. It's anyway over. <laughs> So mm -hmm. the, the first mistake, it was a uh, loose hand, you know, the, the first round, me and him, we have a loose hand and mm -hmm. his technique was much faster than my one because he mm -hmm. had to bend the wrist and pull the hand inside. Me, I have to rotate all the body. So his move is twice faster than my one. So when I start doing my one, he already pinned me. So this was big mistake. And uh, so next time, never uh, lose hand with someone fast, you know, never, mm -hmm. because I, I, I just can't lose a lot. And now second, if the flop doesn't work, don't do again in the next uh, round flop. Uh, I should go inside with him. I should uh, go in the hook like he go and try hold him with the back pressure, which I have pretty good. So mm -hmm. it was big my big mistake, you know, I just... Uh, in my mind, I know it. Ivan is the best hooker in the world. Don't go in the hook with him because he will smash you. That was in the, my mind. But Ivan, Ivan is the best. He has the best hooking ability, like to hook mm -hmm. someone. But once mm -hmm. you go inside with him, he is great, great, great. But best, I don't know about that one. You understand? Yeah. yeah. So you know. So I, I think there you made the mistake. You know, like his yes, hooking yeah. ability and his hook are different. If his hooking ability is ten. Mm -hmm. His hook is nine, I would say. Yeah, when I watch uh, uh, one girl and Tobias, uh, I was sure the one girl won't make won't make the same mistakes what I done, and he didn't change. I was sure he will go in the hook in the last uh, third round, uh, but he just go flop, 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 and every round same, same, same. So I am surprised he didn't change the technique. And now I will never do this mistake. If something doesn't <laughs> work, I must change it. So you're talking about Wagner match, right? Wagner, Wagner, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But but I I kind of feel that what Wagner felt there was something that my opinion, no matter what he did, there was a difference that they wouldn't change anything. This is what I felt. I think he got even a little bit hurt after which round that he, he was holding his arm a little bit? Around uh, three, three, I think. Round three, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I think I don't think there was there was a lot to do for him, and I also suggested him to rest, you know, some a few months, you know, too, because the guy is all time training, training. You see, all the time he's pushing huge numbers. He's not super young. I think but, time to time he needs to really rest and then start from the beginning. You know, I, I, yeah. I think he, I think he don't listen to you because I see him pulling again, <laughs> crazy. Is he? Is he because I, I wrote to him? I wrote to him. He said okay. I, I but... saw he put some video with the pulling back down. So I think he just loves crazy weights. 
and and when he do bicep curl, he doing pretty good weight as well, like one thirty kilos. So that's why I was pretty sure he would go in the hook in the in the last rounds. But yeah, whenever I see you pressing all those the uh, hundred kilos or something, I feel the same. Like I hope this guy doesn't get hurt, you know, on elbow because you never know. You always we always think this is like we are super, and then one click, you know, tick, and then everything is just never same again, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but hundred kilo is not a lot, you know. It's just like good training weight. I I feel comfortable, mm -hmm. but hundred twenty. This is the weight which is risky. You know, you have to hold yeah. all your pressure and holding a lot. But today I saw uh, Ibrahim holding one thirty, and I said, "Yeah, great. yeah." I I, I wrote him. I wrote him as soon as I saw him. He take mm -hmm. his social stress, and I told him. Just don't injure yourself. I said this is the last heavy training, but still, like I don't think it is that necessary to push the limits with weights that much yeah. because weight is something that doesn't get tired. Like yeah. if you are training with someone, th th that's another human being, you know. Like it just moves a little bit, it yeah. gets tired. The weight is not the weight. First second is is hundred kilo. Thirty second is still hundred kilo. You are the one who is getting exhausted, not yeah. the gravity, you know. So yeah, yeah so. I don't he know. go crazy. He go crazy. Um, Tobias, do you believe that? Do you believe that if Kamil gets his position, that you you probably have seen his trainings, you know, to press. If he gets yeah. that, and then if he applies that pressure, do you think you can stop him? I think I can stop him. Like not uh, near the pad. Then it's probably too late because my angle is too open. But how about here? How about here? Can yeah, yeah. Yes, okay. I think so. But yeah. he will be putting the pressure. Whenever I saw Cody, I saw Devon, their arms were yeah. open. Your, your I, want open. The, I want to do the same as they did. How would you do? <laughs> I can I can come forward. Mm -hmm. But to, yeah. to come forward first, you need to stop it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. So this is what I am saying. Before you come forward, can you stop that pressure? And do you think that the key to control that pressure is controlling the pronator of the opponent? Because here, your tricep is winning, uh, working to the winning position. Yeah. Once your palm is turned this way, if you want to, you can still do this, but it's not tricep. Right now, to use your tricep, you need to work on your losing side. So the pronation here, pronation here, here, so much difference, you know. Yeah. So, do you plan to? Do you plan to? Do, do you think that the key to beat him, to, to control his pronator? Yeah, that's one of the keys. And I, my cupping strength is, is uh, good, especially on the left hand. So, I will is, for is sure use it. Is your cupping as good as your grip? Uh, yes, uh, I would say they are equal. Yeah. If they are equal, then Kamil, you need to be careful with that guy. But of yeah, course, you know. You're, <laughs> Tobias, don't forget, I was training pronator last two months, so... <laughs> yeah, that, that's good. Kamil, it's very important, right? You, you think that, you know, maybe you wasted time because you have a super match, but whenever you make your pronator stronger, you know, to keep your pronator here is so important, right, for you to apply that, mm -hmm. that, that uh, shoulder pressure or side yeah. pressure, because once you turn here, I think it's very important for Jerry as well. Mm -hmm. This could be very helpful, and uh, you know, especially my press is fresh, very fresh. So this should work together nicely. Nicely, and then you you win in this. I hope so. I hope so. You know, I want to show good match. You know, not like always people say I am boring. I want to make a good match to to you know just don't go and. And flash pin, bam bam, with the flop press. Oh, so you will you will be nice on him, and then you will not make it boring. Yes, I will try and make a nice fight, and hopefully I will don't lose it <laughs> from the uh, doing nice fight. So you will so. not try to win quick. Yeah. Wow, mm. how nice! You see that, Tobias? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I want to make a nice match. Yeah, but yeah, probably at the beginning you should check yourself the first round, you know, at least. Yeah, but after that will be boring because people will say, "Oh, he playing." I want to just. You know. But but now after you said all these things, people will say the same thing, you know. If they say a tough. Uh, I I I will you know. I you will make them believe. You will make them believe. 
No, you know, I am expecting Tobias very powerful on the back pressure, you know. That's mm-hmm. how he curling 138 kilos. This is just amazing when I saw mm-hmm. some time ago. So I am pretty sure this uh, he will go try outside and try hold me like he say. This is one of, of, of his uh, plans, I see. So this will be uh, very difficult as well because he will try pull me as far as he can and he got the power to do that. So now, now it will be if I can hold some way with the fingers or the strap come on and I'm safe. So that's how I see. Mm. So you, you you believe that 100% this match is going to be a strap match? I'm pretty sure, yes. Uh, unless he holds on. Yeah, you know, when I try pull the other two guys this year, I try do without strap and this was my mistake because uh, especially with Cody, I lost... A lot of energy for him because he, always he ran away before I pin him. So I hold, hold, then I try pin, and he ran away, he ran away. So it's I just think like it's wasting of energy, wasting of time to try pin someone with this. Better just let him go, boom, get straps, and then I can I can uh, save the power and and have a good match. Uh- I mean, because of your style, you say that people runs away, you know, from you. Do you feel like a hunter, and these people hunt when you are muscle? Like, like you, I am no. stronger than you. You cannot escape anywhere. I will catch you. Type of. You know, uh, people. Let's say one year ago, when I go first time to Italy for the super match, people don't know me, so I shock few good guys like. I think I shocked Reno as well with the flop press. He was thinking me he can get he, he maybe can get me in the top roll, but he he couldn't. Then I shock uh Frank Lamparelli. He was thinking he can get me, but he again lost with the flat uh, flop press. And then uh but Batalia, Manuel Batalia, he is another top guy and he was shocked as well. So you know, from but, that but point, the first time you went there, Reno beat you, right? Uh, actually, it was like two one, two two one. I won one fight, he won two fights, and he get the uh, final on the open category. Uh-huh. So yeah, so uh, you know, I was uh, I didn't know him as well, you know. So mm-hmm. but second time, he... second time you guys meet, you beat him two zero or two one again. Uh, second time I meet him in July, I, I go specially to, to fight him because he, he, will, he say he will be in the Croatia ZG Strong and he will, he will be pulling left arm. So I go especially to him and uh, I knew that him and me have same technique, which is yeah. uh, press. So whoever first get there is uh, smashing. So... This time I was faster two times and I won the uh, the. Did the... he did he win any match or it was two zero? Yeah, he he won one match. Yeah. He okay, won. so first time you he won, he, he was two one, and second time he he won you won two, he won once. Yeah, so yeah. It looks like we needed a super match. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. He he just pulled against Matushenko. I think he was four one, and but I think he can pull super weight as well. Tobias, what do you think about Kami's uh, confidence that he's going to make the match tougher and this and that? Like, how do you feel when he says this kind of things? He he wrote to me a few days ago that he was scared after I beat Wagner so easy. And Mm -hmm. I said I, and I told him that I didn't believe him. And now I think that uh, I was right. You were right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) So he was he was just doing the mind games with you, yeah. and he said he was scared. Yeah. Okay. No, and you it... know, from my from my point of view, I I just exactly uh, see the match how it will go, him and Wagner and me is because Wagner pulled same way flop press. So he just showed me exactly what he will do, and I know what I need to do to don't let him to do that. So, you know, he catching low, he catching that way to keep the fingers away and stuff like that. So, you know, <clears throat> but he have as well a lot of, of my videos to see where I am strong and he need to find the way for himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm telling you, there's nothing secret. Nobody's hiding anything from each other, you know. Um, so, obviously, how do you see your chances? In percentage? Yeah. 
Ooh, I didn't think of that before. You're gonna be, you're gonna be, you're gonna be right now like nice or this, and or you're gonna just say exactly Okay, what you let's, are. Let's you be, gonna be like Kamil, Kamil on the messaging or? <laughs> let me be totally honest. Okay. I would say 70, 30 for me. And, and if he beat me, then he's great. Incredible, you are saying. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Well, but That's my can honest I opinion. Okay, I understand. So you are 70% and he's 30%, you are saying. Another question before I ask Kamil the same thing. Uh, what has changed since the Vitali match? Like, do we, like, as, as an arm wrestling fan, forget about being organized or something. As an arm wrestling fan, should I expect you to come back and become the best? Or Vitali, in your eyes, unreachable or you already progress a lot that maybe not now but soon the things may be different like i want to know what's going on here are you speaking to me yeah uh what, what did you say i didn't hear it okay 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 i'm, I'm just saying that as an arm wrestling fan yeah, right, yeah. as an organizer i'm asking you because you are one of those young hopes for arm wrestling, yeah, but yeah. you lost you lost Vitaly convincingly. And so what I'm just saying that what has changed since that time till today, should I hope as an arm wrestling fan you to come back and become the best? Have you progressed since that time? Like what's what's going on in your mind, you know? Yeah, I forget progressed a lot. At the same at the same time I know that Vitaly in my Eyes, I believe he is number one. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, so I think I'm not there yet. So I need mm -hmm. maybe a few years, and in some, for some people that maybe seems like a very long time. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think it's important for me to be realistic. Realistic, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So do, do another question, and don't be. Like, don't be shy to say, answer this. Yeah. In in your head, of course, you are a top arm master and then you, you follow everything. Do you see yourself as favorites against anyone else than Vitaly? Uh, like, uh, if, if we take... Just yeah, Morozo, five, Morozo. Five. Like, right now you said you are 70 to 30 to Kamil. Uh, yeah. Like, to Matushenko, to Alijan, to... Just say Hermes, just say uh, Morozo. Like, where do you see yourself? For sure in the, like, top five. Uh, maybe I could be the favorite against Hermes mm -hmm. because he is right-handed. His left is also good, but it's a, mm -hmm. it's a big so you difference. Think you, you could take his wrist, yeah, you are saying. Yeah, take his wrist or something. Maybe not only taking his wrist. I don't. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. If we take Alicia, that's very a very hard uh, match to predict uh, because I, I can't really understand how strong he he is in the setup, in the cupping, in his fingers. So it's very mm -hmm. very difficult for me. But then we come to like Kurdechan, Morozov, Vitali. Then I think. They are the favorite, not only in my eyes, but also in the. So you said that Matushenko, the Matushenko, Morozov, and Kurdecha are favorite no. against you. Sorry, no, I, I didn't say Matushenko. Okay, who did you Kur say? Kurdecha, Kurdecha? Morozov, and Vitali. And? Oh, Vitali, yeah, you already said that. Yeah, okay, okay, I, I missed that part. Yeah, yeah. But and what do you think about Morozov. Matushenko? Matushenko is hooking, hooking ability is great. Would you try to go outside with him? And top uh, of him? Yes, yes, outside or high hook. High hook, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. okay. I mean all yeah. these all these guys, it's it's a very, very high level. So it's very hard to predict. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I understand. So yeah. that, that's why yeah. we need to set these measures and people will see, you know, yeah, what yeah. the reality is. Reality is, yeah, yeah. I agree. The left arm is is getting more exciting. Yes, 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 yeah. yes. Yes, everything is more matches happening, and 
So is arm wrestling is not going around five, six guys anymore with just is it just every guy that has you know something to say as placed at the stage. Kamil, how do you see your winning chance against uh Tobias? He said 70-30 for him. How do you see for from your side? Yeah, to be honest, I am surprised what he say. That 70, he will take it. How were you expecting? Uh, maybe uh, 55, 45. I was thinking maybe he will think that the match is similar, but... So he is underestimating okay. you? Yes, I think yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, I, I think uh, like 55, 45, because... You know, he calling himself like top five and I calling him top five in the world. So mm -hmm. I will have a hard match. And yeah. if I can get it him, I think I can try go get it another top role guys, which is Vitali and Kurdecha. I am not sure yet about Cookers like Morozov, Alizian, or even mm -hmm. Matushenko. But if, sure. if you want to become the best, you cannot avoid, you know, you need yeah, to. Yeah, you know, the, the thing is, I need to feel it and try it. Then I can know it if I'm ready or not yet. Because, you know, how I training is never show how is on the table. It's always slightly different. You need ways. to feel what? I need to feel them power to see how is in the life. You mean, you mean, you mean, you mean, other than our competition? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I can, <laughs> if I can, if, if if I can just touch it and, and feel it, if he smash me or not, then I will know. Listen, I need to work more. You know, what are you gonna do if they say I'm not gonna give my hand to you? Are you are not gonna pull them. You know, before super match, Hermes uh, sent me message. If I will be there, I can come for training. So he was happy to test my left hand, but I I didn't go there. So maybe, you know, maybe I can have a test and feeling sometimes. We will see. At, at the moment, I think I can get any top role guy down, I think. Because, mm, yeah. you know, even Vitaly, if he don't use side pressure and if he don't have strong side pressure, he will not take me because I give him all. And in the time when I give him all, I am already here mm. and I have so much here. If I just put the hand behind the shoulder... I really can't I, 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 I think that we all you guys all need to climb the stairs slowly, not like yeah. directly to the top or was slowly. I think I think we also want to add something. Think... Yeah, go ahead. Uh I've underestimated people before and I want I don't wanna be in that uh, situation again. So when I say 70 30 for me, I that's what I believe, but I, I also know that maybe he will surprise me. And maybe I will change how I believe the match will go just when I feel in the setup. Maybe he feels mm -hmm. super strong. And then I maybe he will shock me. No one knows. Yeah, yeah. But but do you exactly understand and know what to expect? Did you analyze him? Like do you, like is the game plan clear? The on, game on plan is clear. It is. I've uh, seen his most of his matches. And I think I feel confident because my current shape, but also about his style. Oh, his style is good for you? Yeah, yeah, I feel good against pressures, but he's probably the strongest one for me so far. So For the left arm, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good, that's good. You guys both have good confidence. And even though Kamen says 55-45, but still he gives the edge to himself. Yeah. Yeah, as he and, should. Yeah, yeah, we will see. I, let's see when 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 Lewan is gonna come back. Lewan is training his left arm. He is not really with left arm, he is not really pushing what he is doing with right arm. Left arm is not pushing it. But just remember every time he does barbell curl, every time he does chin-ups. Whatever the, the both arms are working, that that's why if you look at his pictures, you will not see so much uh, side dif size difference. Yeah, right and left. Yeah. Did he fix his wrist with the stem cells or? Um, I think it's getting better. I think it's getting better. Yeah. Yeah. But just just remember when he pulled against uh, Vitali, I think 2017 Zulu Tour, 
Yeah, yeah. And, yeah he, that was he, a good he, match. He flows and then he, he come back with his arm. I think his arm is ahead of his uh, hand. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but let's see. Let's see where he where he will be when he comes. Here. We need them. We need them. Like, can you yeah, imagine yeah. having a left arm like Levan has, but you're not competing? You know, just come on. Yeah, it's just, yeah. And so, let's talk about the matches. Okay, I don't know if you guys analyze the card, but uh, let's start with uh, uh, Nugo. Shkadze versus Petro Marharint. Are you guys familiar to both guys or? Me not really. Me not really. Especially but... Petro. I I know about him mm -hmm. from Ukraine, right? Yeah. And the yeah. other guy, I think I've seen some videos uh, like recently. He, he beat Kras Kras him in last Europeans. He toppled him and beat him, and then yeah. Uh, yeah, I know about both guys. Mm -hmm. Any 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 prediction for that match? Kamil, you said that you don't know about them so much? Yeah, I don't know so much, but today I look at before uh before we chat now. So both of them uh, looks incredible, but I think Petro didn't pull a uh, long time. I saw his videos since 2017-18. No, 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 no. 2022 he competed what? In Turkey, Antalya. Uh, so maybe I don't see this and, video. But... And, and though it's and though the two, two, 2022 competed, mm -hmm. so he's yeah, not so that if, far. If he is in shape, I think uh, maybe slightly I would say Petro, but I think both of them looks incredible and hungry. I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I think it will be nice match to be honest. It will be crazy yeah. match. I think. There, there is, there is no tougher reality check then mm -hmm. that stage so if you are coming there if you are invited you and you have a goal you want to become number one in the world that that you see as an opportunity and then you are like i have no other option but winning mm -hmm. so because one win is automatic invitation again mm -hmm. a higher level match yeah of course, that I would like to invite everyone. We lose, it doesn't matter. But sometimes, you know, you don't have so much room. You know, yeah. And and you 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 Tobias, you have any uh, prediction about this match? I believe that uh, Etro. I think he, his hand is probably too strong. That's my guess. Mm -hmm. If he's in good shape right now, I think he's too too stable. He his uh, wrist is too good. I think. Mm. And then it would control him, yeah. And the, the thing is that Nugo is very good against the hook pullers because his arm is incredibly strong. Yeah. If he ever fails, he's failing from here. But still, his arm, that, that's why when Krasimir tried to hook him, he actually, in strap, he top rolled. Like, you don't see Krasimir's wrist is like this uh, yeah. so often. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good and match. Yeah, yeah, very good, very good. Yeah, and then Sandris versus Ibrahimo, Ibrahim Sago, uh, Kamil. Yeah, um, I think Ibrahim will take that match. I think it will be too much for Sandris. Uh, I, I know Sandris is very strong, but I think his press and uh, how I see him fighting in AMC is mm -hmm. just uh, amazing. I think he's too powerful. For Sandris, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe maybe Sandris will surprise me, but I don't think. And Sandris, mm -hmm. I think, lost some weight for that match. He have to lose some some weight. Not not for that match. He was he said he wanted to pull light. He, he under it seven eight kilo. He was still uh, you know, he so just needs to lose two, two three kilo. I think mm -hmm. probably Ibrahim needs to lose more weight than Sandris. Maybe I'm I'm not yeah. sure, but mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. And you, you go yeah. sorry. Sorry, no, I mean, I, I am for the flop presser guy or presser. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now now I understand the connection, yeah. And and Tobias? Is he usually doing flop press or with the... Both, both. no, no. Both. Ibrahim likes to hook and press, but if yeah. he cannot, then he is doing this, but usually he hooks people. Yeah. Okay. He, yeah, he usually he hooks. If you, do you remember his match with Tata Shinks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Then he got inside, right? Yes. Yeah. I think if, if Sandris can go outside, I think that's his chances. That's where he can can win. If he get uh, hooked, I think no chance. Mm. That's what I believe. Sometimes against the pressers, outside, not always the, the best option. Yeah, but we will see. Yeah, it's a tricky opponent for yeah. Sandris. Yeah. yeah. And Talgat Akte versus Betkil Onyani. I'm I'm not sure about these guys. Kamil, I thought that you were like breathing arm wrestling, like like yeah. but looks like you like you love arm wrestling, but you don't really look around so much. Yeah, because it's small weight. Both maybe, of them are world champion. Both of them are world champion. Yeah. yeah. Uh, maybe I'm slightly favored to Talgat. Talgat is the one that in 2022 he mm-hmm. won against Oleg Zog at the mm-hmm. WAF. But he's going inside while inside and and going. And did, and you see, did you see there was a match between on the arm wrestling engine? If you are a member there, um, there they, they put the video between Rest Sardekian and Bet Kilit, like long, long, long two minute mm-hmm. hook match. Yeah, so Betkili is that guy that he can pull forever, you know. Okay, you are saying Talgat is the favorite in you, Tobias? Oh, very difficult. They both gained weight, right? Yes, yes. And when they pulled last time, 2017, they both were 75 kilo. Now they both will be pulling, I mean, 95 kilo. Yeah, yeah I think I pulled with uh, Betkili in, uh, I think it was in Turkey after the competition. He was much lighter than me, but I, I remember him. Oh, you you pulled with him? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Did you feel? Did you feel him? Yeah, he he was very very strong in his position, and he but has so you, yeah, short. Do you order. realize that? Do you realize that in that event, actually, he pulled very very long matches with Oleg Zog. Yeah, that's crazy. Very long match. Yeah, yeah, very long matches. If he still was very strong, then yeah. Yeah, he was. Impressive. He was. Wow. Yeah. I'm not sure, actually. So uh, I must say 50-50. Okay. Okay, now let's go to other matches. Let's start from, let's see. I'm just trying to do on order. Um, we can start from Fia Rysek versus Ekaterina Nikisheva. Your country woman. Yes. What do you Kamil think? first or me first? It doesn't matter. Whoever. Kamil doesn't seem like so familiar. No, uh, I, I think Pia will take because I don't see uh, Irina too much. Nothing. Irina, I don't no, 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 Irina. Ekaterina Nikisheva. Ekaterina, sorry. Ekaterina yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. see her pulling or training i don't i don't know what what is her shape she was very good in the past and uh, i don't know we'll see mm-hmm. but you remember her right mm-hmm. yeah yeah and you tobias yeah i think and i hope that fia will win it seems like she is taking arm wrestling very seriously right now mm-hmm. i mean she mm-hmm. has been doing that for many years but it seems like she is in very good shape right now so okay. I, I think Fia can win. Yeah, that this is a tough match, yeah. And Mindagas versus Arthur Makarov. Tell the god, the Mindagas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I remember last time, like a year ago, when there was a discussion at Arm Wars with uh, Devon Lara, Neil Pickup and everyone, and Mindagas yeah, yeah, about yeah. his technique. So... After that, I see it was working. You know, it was working. This technique, what what they mm-hmm. discuss, how to beat, uh, how to beat uh, Daniel, Daniel Prokopchuk. Yeah. So this, I see, it's get working, and this time I'm really not sure. You know, because we, I am not sure to be honest. Fifty fifty. Fifty. And you, Tobias? Yeah, Mindaugas, he he is in good shape. And I think maybe he can do not exactly the same, but uh, something similar that he did in his last match. Mm. 
so m- maybe not in the first round, but maybe in the second or maybe third round, he can he can take his wrists and go outside. Mm-hmm. So I think that's possible. Yeah. That's possible, but Arthur winning is also possible. Mm. Yes, yes. So how do Absolutely. you see close match? Fifty-five, forty-five to uh, Tarasaitis. So Tarasaitis is the favorite, slightly yes. favorite. Yes. Okay. Yes, because of his last match. Mm-hmm. Yes, I think. Okay, now we have an incredible match. All of them are incredible, but Irakli Zrakashvili versus Oleg Petrenko. I I think I think I am with Irakli. That's how he's pulling Levan. It's just amazing. I think he will take it. Mm-hmm. And in you, Tobias. Petrenko, he can also go with back pressure and, and side pressure. I, I don't think he can hook Irakli, but m- maybe he can go with side pressure. Maybe. Or m- maybe he will lose his wrist if he, if he tries to do that. Uh, we don't, we don't see not... him losing wrist so much, you know. I, I don't even, even remember him losing the wrist. But they uh, pulled three, three years ago. What's that? Bershank. Against the young Bershank. No, he lose his wrist. Wait, uh, he maybe even toppled. He, he, he even John in the last rounds. Okay, maybe I remember wrong. No, I mean like, he, he's, he, he, you can flatten his wrist, but I, yeah, that's what I mean. He doesn't go like that. Yeah, he, he flattens and then he hits, 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 and then slowly he gets copping and then a win. But yeah, they I don't think he can ago. do that. I don't think mm-hmm. he can do that with Irakli because. That's uh, Irakli's strong position, and he can just surge sideways. Did, did you know that this 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 two pulled three years ago again in Istanbul, and uh, Sasha won three one, uh, four one. Okay. Yeah, but it was three years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Okay. They say I said Petrenko. Irakli versus Sasha. Did I say Petrenko? Yes. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm no. looking for this is Sasha, Sasha, Sasha. You're talking about Petrenko when you yes, say he yes. lost his wrist. Okay, that's why I'm saying why he lost his wrist. Okay, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Do you know why no this problem. happened? Because yeah, I know the story. Because the match is canceled, but on the poster is still Petrenko and I'm fasting. So from sunrise to sunset, I don't eat and drink. So probably it is last twenty five minutes. So that's why probably <laughs> I'm saying wrong. Sorry about it. this. Is Sasha? Sasha versus totally understand. Yeah, Sasha yeah. versus Irakli. Yeah. Yeah, Sasha versus Irakli. I I think Irakli will win. I think Irakli so. Will win? It's very difficult to hook him. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 yeah Anyways, it looks like. Yeah, looks yeah. like Irakli is in top shape as well at the moment. By the way, it's what he's doing. They are crazy. Yeah, in, yeah, incredible shape. But but I'm I don't think that Sasha will come here uh, with a bad shape either. So it will be incredible. Like whenever we look at these matches, like people, those community, they need to realize. I'm sure they do. But if if there is anyone who doesn't realize this, that these are extraordinary human beings, including you two, like. Oh, like, like these are the elite of elite in the world. Not, not, not any regular guy over there. You know, like, I mean, even the the matches that I don't even know which match I should start the event because it, it is, it is. Everyone is so high level, you know. <laughs> so let's go to the Brandon Assessor versus Stoyan Golemanov. Do you guys know Stoyan Golemanov? I saw some no. videos, but I don't. I don't know this guy much. I saw some videos, so looks Brian amazing. Polemano, in my book, one of the best topplers I have ever seen. Mm-hmm. He doesn't have so much joint side pressure, but his topple ability, even last year, he had a war with Krasimir. He toppled Krasimir, but at the end, Krasimir won with the uh, dead wrist. Yeah, those damn dead wrist pressers, you know. <laughs> just joking <laughs> it's, it's hard to deal with it for sure you know it's hard to deal um, yeah he's gonna pull against Brandon Assessor yeah and so you guys have no 
prediction. Yeah. No, it's difficult to to predict, but I'm sure it's a it's a good match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It will be and schoolboy versus uh, Leonidas. I think this will be a very interesting match because schoolboy is very experienced and Leonidas is very strong, and I am pretty sure that the match will stop on the uh, schoolboy side. And he will have a problem to finish Leonidas because yeah. his open angle is just amazing. So, yeah, it, you know, it's depend about his wrist. If he, if if schoolboy can rotate his wrist, then he will take it. If he if he will not rotate his wrist, then I don't know really. Maybe he can take it back. So it will be really nice because much. arm to arm power. Then Leonidas is stronger. Yes, yes. Biceps, biceps, biceps. power is stronger. Yeah. Maybe not wrist. But the biceps for sure, and now it's it's the the key from schoolboy how he will avoid that biceps. You know he need to find a way to avoid that power. Mm. And, and I think he will, and I think he will because I think he will because he's more experienced. You know he he pulled since baby, so I think he will find a way. Schoolboy will find a way to win. You are I saying? think yes. Mm -hmm. And and you, Tobias? Yeah, I was thinking the same actually. I think he can uh, take his hand, but can he finish the match? I don't know. I I think I think if schoolboy takes the hand, he's gonna win. But if he cannot take the risk, even if he in a winning position, the guy Leonidas bicep power is incredible. To to finish yes. him is not that easy. But we will see. You know, yeah. And Michael Todd versus Frank Lamparelli coming. Uh, that's a very interesting match, but I think Frank won't be able to finish Michael Todd. After that's what I saw with uh, Pavlo and, and Michael Todd. Mm -hmm. He will probably win the center, uh, pull to him to his side, to Frank's side, but I don't think he'll be able to finish him. And I think Michael Todd will bleed him and they take him back with the press. Especially mm -hmm. he know that he don't like press. <laughs> because uh, how, do you, one, how, one. how do you see how do you see your chances with right arm against Michael? Oh, I think I'll have to be quick because if he will stop, or oh, he will kill it. Because I think he, he have good uh, uh, how to say that you know like condition endurance. endurance uh, yeah, he have a good endurance. He can hold as uh, much as his body can lift there. <laughs> so yeah. could be difficult if if I am quick. With the push side, not not straight down, because straight down, he can maybe stop, but sideways, far away, mm -hmm. maybe I can get, but maybe not. You know, it's it's not young man. Maybe he's not that fast uh, like me. So mm -hmm. I, I think it will be very interesting. I like to try try one day uh, to yeah. to press. There are there are so many matches, and we will see them. Just we just can't do all of them at once, but we will eventually see all these matches. And yeah. what do you think about this match, Tobias? Oh, it's a great match. Uh, They're both both very good. And uh, Michael just came back from uh, the injury. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the name of the guy that he, he pulled in the uh, USA? The translator. Uh, Pablo. 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 Uh, he did great against uh, Pablo. He looked very strong, and I was uh, in shock to, to see that shape so quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, but but also, I'm very impressed by Lamparelli. Mm -hmm. uh, what he did with uh, Matt Mask was incredible. Yeah. yeah, he is very technical, very smart arm wrestler. Yeah, mm -hmm. I believe in uh, Lamparelli. I think he, he can win, but it will be uh, difficult for him. But I think he will do it. Mm. Yeah. And last four matches, David Samusha versus uh, Nurdalet Aydarhan. Do you guys have a prediction for this match? Uh, I think Nurdalen could be fast faster than the David. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I think he can he can flash pin him. Because that's what I on the last uh, East and West, that's how I lost the uh, uh, against Walla he won. Yeah, fast flash pin. And I think yeah. this could be Unstoppable, maybe, but maybe I am wrong. I don't know. Can you do it four times? So that's the question. Yeah, yes, that's the question. Yeah. 
-hmm. So very good match and uh, like slightly more to the to the Nudal Nudal. And you, Tobias? Oh, it's hard to to say that uh, Samushe is going to lose after winning like six or seven times, or how how many times did he seven, win? Seven seven times in a uh, row he won. But does it mean that he will forever win? No, absolutely not. Uh, if someone is going to beat him, it's uh, Nordalet, I think. Yeah, so. Let's but say it doesn't mean that it doesn't mean that he is gonna either, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm. It's it's it, it feels boring to say 50 50, but I, I really don't have a clue. So, you are saying that the one is explosive, he has chance to win, and the other one has good endurance and power, he has chance to win. So, it is impossible to say that this guy for sure is gonna win. Yeah, I don't think Samusha will win with uh, 4 0. That's all oh, okay. I can say. Yeah. Okay. And then if, if Aydarhan wants to win, it needs to be 4-0. Uh, yeah, I think so. Mm. Otherwise, he will just gas out and get tired. Yeah. I think so. Okay. Georgi Svetko, Alex Kurdesha. <laughs> Looking forward to this match. So come on, Tobias, you first. Uh, Tobias, before I, you start, I want to ask you, Tobias, yeah. do you have anything to say to these guys with right arm? Do, do you mean uh, it, 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 like I I, we do. know that your your left arm is there somewhere? Yeah. How is your right arm doing? My right arm is actually quite good. I I wouldn't say that that it would be a. a Good match for me to face like uh, Svetkov on the right hand right now. Maybe mm -hmm. if, if I if I get a right hand match, I would maybe want to face like Arif Ertem or Kalina Chenk or something like mm -hmm. that. I think That's it would be a, yeah, I think it's it's better. Better. Yeah, yeah, I think that would be fair. Uh, so I I think they are too much for me right now on the right hand. But my right hand is getting better. Mm -hmm. uh, you are not in yes. rush. So how do you see this yes. match? I think Svetkov will attack Kurdecha's weakness. Uh, mm. And we could see this uh, when he faced uh, Chafee, when Kurdecha faced uh, Chafee. Mm. Uh, but, but maybe Kurdecha uh, has fixed that problem. I mean, I believe it will still be his weak point, but maybe mm. his weak point is very strong right now. Do you do you think that Alex Kurdecha at that match was in the shape that he is in right now? Not even close. So you are saying Alex Kurdecha right now is bigger and stronger than yes, at much, time. Mu yeah, much stronger. Yeah. And also remember that Dave Sheffy has incredible side pressure. You yes. know, and I think if something is not enough for Georgi. It's, I think he's joint pressure to side way. He's just he's muscle pronation to the end, to the death. You know, he's just pronation, but not yeah. so much, not so much like not close to what Dave Sheffy has. So, do you guys agree that they both have good hands, good pronation, especially right arm, left arm? We saw Kurdesha could do you in shoulder pressure, bicep, everything he could do. Yeah, it, yeah. yeah but with crazy. right arm. With right arm, I didn't see Kurdesha doing things like he did with left arm before. And so I think for, for me, the boat goes outside and the, it's a hand bar, battle, but not so much joint pressure. So I kind of feel that that will not be an easy match. But uh, yeah, go ahead and finish. Sorry about it. Yeah. Uh, I think, as I said, Svetko will attack his. A weak point, but uh, we know about uh, Jorge's uh, shape right now, but we don't know about uh, Kurdecha's right hand. Mm. So, if Kurdecha's right hand is much stronger than before, I think he, he can win. Uh, mm. But it's difficult to predict because do of you, his... Do you think that the, the height advantage, the leverage, everything is in the favor of 
Kurdecha or it doesn't matter for uh, it matters, but he also needs to have his riser. Yeah, yeah, to, to yeah. use that advantage. Yes, yes. And and how do you see Kamil? I um, I think Georgi Setkov is the top of the world, and I think he will smash uh, Kurdecha. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. I think uh, it's it's slight favor uh, Svetkov for me because uh, Kurdecha didn't pull long time on the right hand, and mm -hmm. we really don't know what we can expect. But you know the power just don't come so quick easy. So yeah. how long he preparing six months? But left and left arm he did left arm he didn't pull at all. But his his performance was great. Right arm at least he pulled some matches before. Left arm, I think, since the armor, did he pull anywhere when he pulled yeah. Ryan Esper? No. no, but 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 he just came and he, he gave hell to uh, Arthur Morozov. Yeah, but about the left arm, I don't think Morozov was in the best shape as well. I think he was just coming back from the uh, trouble. So, you know, it was perfect time for Alex to, to pull Morozov, but uh -huh. he still didn't have a note, but he showed good level. But on the mm -hmm. right arm, I think Georgi Setkov is, is top of the world right now. And mm -hmm. uh, I think he won't give up easy. And I think he will take that match. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alija Muradov, Hermes Kasparini. This match is a bit related to you guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. These are future opponents. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I think I think Alizian, Alizian can surprise everyone. I think... He's surprised. Yeah. surprised. People, people think Alijan is gonna win. I think many people think that. Okay, so I, I, I think similar. I think similar. I don't think Hermes will have same power inside like Alijan. Yeah, but and why he needs to go inside? He is outside. Well, that, that's his only chance to take his risk. Yeah, you know? but when I when I watch Cody Merritt and Alijan, Cody have huge hands and he have difficult to get it out from Alijan. And this was like, mm -hmm. I will say Alijan wasn't in the best shape. Now he's in incredible shape. And I think Hermes won't be able to take his risk, I think. Do you do you think that Cody is, Cody is very strong, but do you think that his technical ability, you know, sometimes uh, what you lived or something is, like not hundred percent translate into the table, but just like your coordination and your ability at the table. I think that the top role ability and quality of Hermes and to take the risk while Cody is just more like hitting mm -hmm. outside, but the, to the pin pad, you know. Do you think that there is a possibility that Hermes to be a better top roller than Cody in technical uh, way? Could be. Could be, but I don't know how strong is left arm of Hermes, you know. The right arm he's showing, but he don't showing the left arm pronation, the, the, the biceps lift. You know, we can see 92 kilos on the right arm uh, hammer biceps, but we don't see on the left no, but, but arm. But how, so... much, how much does he need compared to right to beat Alijan? If, if this was right arm of Alijan, uh, right, arm, think... uh, right arm of Hermes versus left arm of Alijan, I would have no doubt that Hermes winning that. I think he needed quite a lot. I I reckon at least what's 85, that? Eighty percent? Eighty percent? Yeah, I would say eighty-five kilos on the back pressure he needed to to maybe win it, not less. Mm -hmm. And you, Tobias, how you see this match? Uh, I was also thinking about the Cody match. Uh, as far as I remember, Cody could take his wrist just a little bit, but yeah. then he just a and little then... bit. Yeah, yeah, but Alishan is for sure much stronger now. But if Hermes can get in that position, if he can take his hand a little bit, I think he he has a chance a chance to finish the match. But I, uh, I think Hermes's left arm matches was Wagner. He beat Wagner very convincingly left arm. You guys remember, right? At King of the Yeah, it, it, I think it was uh, four to one. No, five one. I think five one. Or but five, just one, one round, yeah. he wanted to control him. You don't want to control Wagner Borsalato yeah. on your bicep. He just presses you. So, and then the other match was Morozov match. But Morozov match, first round, actually, he took Morozov wrist here. If Morozov tried to go in, his wrist would lose. But from here, he, he kind of rise and he attacked to 
Hermes's hand, you know, but this is not where Alijan is gonna go. Alijan is probably gonna go here, yes. you know. So top rolling against top rollers and top rolling against hook pullers are a different story. So yes. yeah, so I, I don't know. Also, he was kind of exhausted. Of course, Morozov also had a match with Revas, but sometimes some people recover, some people don't. Uh, Hermes was without it, he was gonna pass away, you know, he was just like uh, so hardly breathing and everything, you know. So how do you see who's winning there? I think Alicia will win, but it won't be easy. Maybe mm -hmm. 55, 45. So do you, do, you see, do you see like a clean sweep or no. round will be... No? Hermes also win round? Um, maybe. But I, I think if Alicia wins... 4-0, then I think mm -hmm. the maybe first and second round will be Both. tough, and then it will get easier. Uh, okay. But but that maybe not be the case either. Maybe Adams can win. I I don't know. Uh -huh. It's a good match. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, last Very match. From, yeah. One more second. From from my point of view, if you will ask me a question, Camille, who you want to pull, Hermes or Alizian? Hermes, you will so, say. So I will say Hermes for sure. Yeah, because he's attacking with Brachyradialis while the other one is going to attack on your <laughs> yeah, arm. Yeah, yeah. So, and yeah. also, I remember the words from uh, Morozov. He said he can pull anyone, but not Alizian. <laughs> so he, this, he said, this, keep, keep, keep Alizian away from me. This is yeah, so this, this yeah. means something. This means something for sure. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I would say slightly more Alizian, like 55 45. But yeah, I hope, exactly what Tobias said. I hope Hermes will win because you know the future can be easier. <laughs> but, what's that? What's that? Oh, open, you, open. you never know. We will see. Yeah. Nice match. Okay, Devon Larat versus Levan Sakinashvili and finish. I need to go and eat my uh, dinner. Yeah, of course. That's him. Yeah. Tobias, you first. Oh. Last time I I don't know why, but I always think that Devon is going to win and he didn't do it last time but at the same time he got injured and I, I don't think he will get injured this time so uh, this is very see, very difficult do you see Devon Devon progressed since last time yes yes of course yes he did he progressed more than uh, Levan did so it will be closer than last time I'm pretty sure of it but I don't know how close it will be. Do you, did you follow my uh, visit to Georgia? Yes. I did think you, I've you... seen most of the videos. How how did you judge Levan's shape? That it's stronger than I thought it could be after the injury. I, I didn't mm -hmm. think he could get that strong that quick after such an injury. So I was surprised. Yes. So you were expecting him to be weaker? Yes, I was a little bit weaker. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and he, he, showed, he, he showed the pronation lift. Mm -hmm. uh, but I don't think it will be about that. I think it will be, be about his uh, cupping ability. Mm -hmm. Did you find so, his cupping at his best? What was that? Did you find his wrist at its best? Okay. Uh, it's very hard to say. It uh, seems like he has uh, no problem with it, no uh, pain. And it, lo it looks strong, but I don't know how strong his cupping was the last time. And how, how do you see this match? Me, I think. Uh, no, 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 think... no, no. One second, ah, Kamil. Okay. First, his prediction. How do you see this match, Tobias? And then I will ask Kamil. Sorry, Kamil. I have to say, Devon. Devon is going to yes. win? This is what you want or what you believe, think? Actually, both. Both, okay. Yes. So, yes. Hmm. Okay. So, you coming? I think i watching these guys uh, very carefully with everything, what they do. And, uh, and I think Devon is stronger than last time and Levan is weaker than last time. And I think... And I think Devon is very clever and he knows where he has to fight to win against 
Levan. And I think Levan is not ready there yet. That's what I'm thinking. But well, how 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 much difference was there in your opinion last time? I think like for Levan maybe ten percent he was stronger on the on the wrist and even on the biceps. Like he was curling one sixty five kilos for three times. Now he's curling like one thirty five. So ten percent he is weaker. I would no no say. no. What I'm just saying. What was the difference between them? Uh, not Levan much last time. Not much huh? last time. Not much last time. Like five. Oh, you, when 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 Le Levan won six zero, there was no much difference between. Not them? so much, you know. Mm. Maybe looks easier, but Devon uh, almost stopping him, so wasn't so much different last time. But this time, Devon is much more prepared. He know what he's coming for, and he also uh, he know that Levan have problem with the wrist, and this is uh, the the key for him. This is his way. And I am pretty sure it will Devon win. I'm pretty I will be really surprised if Levan will give the reason. That's, 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 that's very win. interesting. That's very interesting. Two of my East versus West guests who are gonna compete and they both think that Devon is gonna win. While while Levan yeah, you know, convincingly won. You see Devon preparation, he doing everything mm. to win it. So yeah. he, in his mind, in his body, everything he's doing to win it. This is his like I would say last chance or something like that. And I'm pretty sure he is uh, very confident that he coming and he will crack that wrist. So mm -hmm. you no, know, I will be surprised if Levan can hold it. But uh, you know, Levan have a huge hand which can make difficult for Devon. But Levan also have huge hand. This you know. Amazing match, but I think also endurance of Devon is amazing. You know, he he can he can push uh, Levan before the match a lot to make him tired, and you know the weight of Levan is huge, so he will he can gas out twice faster than Devon. That, that's that's very interesting. That's very interesting. I I was before I went to Georgia, I was thinking 60, 40, 55, 45 for Levan. Now I'm thinking more like 55, 45, 53, 47, but still Levan. I saw him, he's huge, he's strong. And, and but it, that is interesting that Levan, uh, according to you guys, uh, he's underdog, you know, that, 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 that is interesting. You yeah. know, it, it, it's nice to have a new king, you know. <laughs> no, that, 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 that's why I'm asking. Is this what you want or what you believe or what it is? Uh, it's also it's also have uh, nice to to have a new king because before Levan was unstoppable, and Hermes showed that it is possible. And now Devon will try prove the world that it is possible. I'm pretty sure. Well, so, do you think? Do you think that? Do you think that whenever we judge these kind of things, uh, mm -hmm. like? Levan was stopped by Hermes. Do you think that there is also there are sometimes people are also have bad days because of being so dominant? It makes them so confident. Anyway, so guys, the, the my time came because after fasting, I need to. Uh, I have been fasting for like because last time I ate was like two a.m. in the morning. So how many is it? Seventeen and a half hours. No drinking, no eating. So now time came. I heard it and. Mm -hmm. Uh, I will ask you permission, and we are chatting for like one and a half hour. One and a half hour. Yeah, mm -hmm. so, so yeah. short. And yeah, and thank you very much for being my guest, and see you in three and a half weeks. Yeah, thank you, Angel. Take yeah. care. And nice. any, any last word you guys would like to say to the community, anything or to each other, whatever, you know? Uh, I, I like to say, Tobias. Show me your power on exercise. I want to see it. <laughs> and I will show you my power, what I'll be training last two weeks for you. So yeah, make, I will this, show make, you something. make this interesting. I want to see how strong you are some points, just for fun, you know, just to, to see what you can do before the match. Also, also send me, also send me, so I can also share on the East vs. West mm -hmm. social yes. media. Yeah, and but just whenever you do this, also... Give some message after the lift. <laughs> you <Okay>. understand? <laughs> yeah.
Okay, thank so you. all the best, guys. Thank you very much. Yeah, for the chat. same. And if you, you want to say anything, Tobias, or if you, yeah, you finish. No, I'm good. Just uh, it will be a great event, so don't miss it. It will be yeah. uh, the best. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you once again, and you all take care. And thanks to anyone who has been uh, watching us. Take care. Thank bye you. Bye. 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 bye.